Welcoming back to the program, first time this year, Julia Grace for a happiness hack. Morena, my friend. Hi, Morena. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. 2024. Yeah, 2024. Let's go for it. And, and, and kind of that's what we're talking about this morning, right? Uh, some people call them New Year's resolutions and things, but you actually say New Year, same you. I like that. Tell us about that, Julia. I think there's... We sometimes have this idea that certain times or seasons or periods of of our life make the normal things magically easier. And so we get to New Year's, we get to, for some reason, the 31st of December, and we suddenly think that all the things that we thought we were going to do uh, and achieve over the rest of the year, which have not worked out well, um, are suddenly going to be magically better and easier <laughs> Yeah, Just why is that? It's changed. <laughs> I know, because people so, on Facebook, they're like, a new year, it's going to be the best one yet. And I'm like, is it? <laughs> you don't know that. You, you don't know. No, you don't. Exactly. So New Year, there's a lot around this time of year. New Year, new me. You know, yeah. people going, right, okay, this is this is my big my big chance. And, and uh, thinking that, Often we're going to stop doing, you know, I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm going to, I'm going to stop this, drop that. Um, had enough of this kind of habit. And and while there's some really good ideas and thoughts around uh, goal setting, I think this whole concept of completely recreating ourselves and the expectation on ourselves to do that can be really. Um, it can almost work against us because we, we pick out too much, right? Does that sure. resonate with you? Have and, you ever had that experience? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, you know, beginning of the year, right, you know. I actually, how I remember it the most was when I was a kid at school, maybe high school, and you, you know how you get yeah. your brand new books? And I was yes. like, right, I'm going to keep my books really tidy. I'm not going to yeah. doodle all over the front. I'm going to pay attention in class. I'm going to just... You know, a new, new beginning, new book, but, you know, a few weeks in, you know, there were pictures of snails and rabbits all over the front of the book and, uh, you know, there was just the mess. And so, yeah, I didn't change. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes we can change for a certain length of time and then it becomes difficult. So for the beginning of the year, um, I've, I've got a different concept. Instead of new year, new me, it's new year, same me, um, but maybe with just some more you know, slightly tweaked changes in my lifestyle. So in my work, in my book, and everything I do under the Be Kind to Your Mind, one of my main pillars is the concept of one degree of change. Mm. So the little small changes that shift the direction. So if you imagine you're, you know, you're on a boat and, and you move one degree of change to the right, at the beginning it feels like a ridiculously small step and it almost feels like, well, that's not going to do anything. You know, like, Lizzie, one degree, what's that going to do? But come back to me in 365 days and that one degree of change will have created quite a major trajectory. Mm. So my husband and I decided that our one degree of change, we didn't do it on New Year's because we like to do things differently, um, got home and thought we actually want to practice what we preach and move a bit more and go on a daily walk. Right. So, um, and that's been cool. Do you like walking? Is that something you enjoy? I did it this morning for forty-five minutes. It's part of my my thing of uh, because when yeah. we had the holiday, I was off for two and a half weeks, whatever it was. I exercised yeah. pretty much every day. I knew once yeah. I got back to work, it might not happen. But what I've discovered, and I really hope I can stick to it, is it just does me so much good exercising first thing in the morning, and then it's out of the way. And then I come yes. home in the evening and I want to finish off that movie and I just lie there like a sloth. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, but I already did my exercise. So it's like well, putting uh, money yeah. in the bank. <laughs> yeah, that's brilliant. And also you can sit there feeling very smug and self-satisfied in your totally. evening session going, uh, check me out. And exactly. I think sometimes when we make those little changes, the challenge is how to keep going, right? So we did a bunch of the first week um, and went on our walks. And then this weekend, we've been at uh, in Hokitika at nice. the Living Waters Music Festival. Amazing festival, by the way. Can I just put a little plug for those guys? Do it. Uh, and... All of a sudden, Michael's going up and down the hill, sorting out my gear, getting my guitar, finding the slides for my session, and he's like, 
oh my gosh, my shorts are falling down. I've lost weight from walking. Wow. So I had to, and he had no belt. So I had to donate to him uh, one of my sashes of my floral multicolored dresses, which he tucked away under his t shirt, which was quite funny. Hilarious. But we'll get this conversation. Well, this is great, but how do we keep going? And the, quest, the, the, the main thing is actually to build consistency. You have to keep doing something. Keep turning over. up. Again, yeah, I said, you know, we're, we're driving down a highway and the off-ramp that says I won't bother doing anything is three lanes wide with flashing signs going, pull off here. And big donuts yeah. in your face. Red and stop. Yeah, yeah. And on the other side of the freeway is this little goat track, which has only been formed seven days ago, uh, which you can hardly see, which says, hey, go for a walk. <laughs> and it's difficult to pull off onto that one when there's a three-lane highway going, um, you know, lie on the couch and do nothing. So the only way to build consistency from a psychology point of view is simply to do it over and over again until one lane turns into two, turns into three, and it becomes an easy way to do that, removing the barriers. So I just want to encourage people at the beginning of this year, instead of trying to recreate your entire life, <laughs> look for the one degree of change, just some little things that you could do that you reckon, if I start this, I think I could do this for the long term and set some goals that are far more realistic. It's not new year, new you. It's new year, same you <laughs> and all the same excuses. So set yourself up for success. Love it. Absolutely love it. Thank you, Julia. Look forward to uh, catching up with you next time. If you want to check out what Julia's up to, she's her book, Be Kind to Your Mind. Uh, follow her on social media, Julia Grace. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to click on like, subscribe and notifications. See you next time.